Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how you can edit uploaded YouTube videos without losing views on them and having to delete them and re-upload them again. You might be wondering why would you need to edit your video that you've uploaded to YouTube. Now let me give you an example of a couple reasons why. Uh, let's say you have a video you've uploaded, it's getting good views on it uh, and you've just noticed a mistake maybe at the beginning or the end or maybe even in the middle. You'd like to get rid of that and you don't want to have to re-upload the video because if you do that it gives it a whole new URL and all your views are gone and you want to keep those views or maybe comments that you have, you just want to remove something. So this is where you could be using the YouTube video editor built right into YouTube. The other reason, maybe you want to blur a face that you've noticed there's a face in there uh, that you didn't want to be seen. Uh, you can add a blur effect to it or maybe you want to add some music. This is These are all things that you can do in the YouTube editor after you've uploaded your video. So I'm going to be actually using one of my videos uh, that's live on my channel and I'm going to edit it and then you'll be able to check out uh, the things that I've added through the YouTube video editor. Now I'm going to go, you can see I'm on my YouTube channel, I'm going to go to my YouTube studio, uh, I'm going to go this way right here and uh, just over to my studio and this is my list of uh, you know all the things happening on my channel here. I'm going to go to content and this is where I can access all my different videos here. Uh, these are all my most recent ones and what I'm going to do is edit this shorter one down here about how to remove a background uh, from an image real quickly. So I'm just going to go and edit this one, open it up and at this point I'm going to go to the editor and the editor is right here. So I'm going to click on this and now we're all ready to start doing some trimming or blurring or even adding music. I'm going to show you how you can do this. Before I get to the trimming, I just want to point out a couple things around the YouTube video editor. We have our undo, redo right here. Uh, if you want to play the video, you can see if you hover over the video, just like a YouTube video, you have your hi there, play and normal skip back, skip ahead. We adjust our volume through here and we can adjust our playback speed. The other thing that you'll wanna pay attention to is your zoom tool right here where you can click in the bar or hit the magnifying glass to zoom up on a certain part of the video so you can be more accurate in your edits. So let's start with trimming here. And so the different tools, I'll be trimming and adding music and adding the blur. So if I wanna trim something and in this video, I'm gonna trim the beginning and the end and I'm also gonna take a small clip out of the middle. Now, uh, let's say if I wanna take out my intro in this video and if I drag the playhead, so I'm clicking and holding the playhead and if I hit play right here, um, I can hit play a couple different ways. I can hit Your play here. In but I can also hit it on my space bar and, and I find the space bar is easier when you're stopping and starting uh, in a hurry rather than trying to find this play button. So, but let's say if I wanted to go ahead. gone. So let me show you how to do this today on Teachers Tech. So I know this is the point where I want the video to start. And what I can do is trim out before that. So if I click trim, right here, notice it turned blue around. I can hover my mouse over, I can click and hold and drag it to that point. And I'm gonna drag it right to the playhead. I can zoom up if I wanted to see things a little bit more exact. You can see I can go past the playhead, but I just want it because that's where I, I had it too. Now the other thing I wanted to try do, so if I go ahead and, and just preview it, notice if I click back here and if I hit play again, it doesn't play this part. So I haven't hit so save just, or anything yet, but it, in the preview, it's not gonna show the things I've trimmed out. Now I'm gonna go to the end of the video over here and let's say I wanna cut out the final few seconds. So uh, again, I bring my playhead over the here. background from an image, thanks for watching. So maybe I'll just get rid of the thanks for watching on this one. So I'm gonna zoom up because it helps to zoom up and then I can uh, move over. So if I want to uh, just, you can see, you can just drag over to the uh, very end here and you can even zoom up more if you want. Uh, so let's say at this point, I'm gonna just bring this back here and if I hit before it, Next hit time play. Next time with more tech. And maybe I want even more so I can see. Image, thanks for watching this week. I'll and I'll just leave it at that, right? That point. So you can, I can test Brown, it out. From an image. Thanks for watching this week. 
and that's where it will end just with thanks for watching this week so the other thing you can do you can split things out in the middle so if i go ahead and i can pick and i'm just going to zoom out again i can pick any at any point and i'll pick with my playhead here and I, if i hit split down below i get the blue bar i can drag this either way so and i can put multiple splits in it so i can go over here and hit split just like that and at any point I could go more and more or I could get, undo the split just by clicking the X's. So I know there's a certain part in the middle I'm gonna trim and then I watched what part it was gonna be. So I know it's gonna be at 231. Notice as I hover over if I try to get to 231 that way, or I could just, uh, the number's already there, but if I was off of it, I could just type in the number here. So if I delete and hit the time, it jumps to that point. So I could add my split like this I have my blue bar I'm going to zoom up again and I'm going to pull ahead a little bit like this I'm going to test it out my time go through here and erase another so I know there's something missing I want a little bit more so I can nudge this back go through here and erase things out so another that's another image this image is a that's where I wanted it to start so at this point I want to I'll just listen to it go through time. here and erase things out another image this image is a little bit more half so i'm going to go back here and so this part will be out of the middle here and erase things out so let's try another image just like that so i've taken out just a couple seconds there and this will come out of the video so when i go ahead and hit preview Notice that the save button comes up and this is where I can save and the trims would be in there. As soon as I hit save, it gets this save changes and then you go through. So it may take a few hours for your changes to apply during that time. And at this point I have to hit save. I do want to point out too, you can do this to your uh, live videos that you've recorded in the past and you can go through, maybe edit them out. So I could hit save It's now it's going to be processing. Uh, so this video is being processed. Please take a look back later. So this video is processing now, and then when you come back later, it will be done. It didn't take very long for those changes since it was a shorter video and everything, and it only took a few minutes, but I'm just over on the video through YouTube here, not logged into my account or anything. If I hit play at the very beginning, you can see everything uh, it's so edited I'm out at and starts where I uh, edit the intro out. And so it ha would have that cut in the middle. And at the end, I just wanted to point out my views for this video are still there. And so are my uh, likes and dislikes here. So nothing got deleted after I did those editing. Uh, so let's move on to the next thing here. Let's go ahead and add some blur to our video here. Uh, I just want to point out if you're still in trim, you have to cancel out or you're not going to be at, able to add the blur. So hit cancel if this is open. Blur, I can hit the add blur here or I can just click here and it does the same thing. So first of all, if I do a face blur, what it does, it goes through and finds the faces inside the video and it will find all the different faces. Uh, if I select on one, I can hit apply, I'll select all and it's uh, hit apply it goes through and just uh, puts it through very quickly if i hit play you online can see program you can drag and drop there's your a blur uh, in on top of the face so whenever if i click over here you'll see it Have again some, uh, it just finds my face and blurs it out so that's a quick way you can still adjust these too notice when it turns blue there it tells me how long it plays for up here or I can go ahead and uh, change or adapt. If things weren't fitting, I can delete it. Or I can even delete it or adjust to it right here. Now I can undo. Again, I can go back and it gets uh, right out of there that way. Uh, the other thing you can do, if you hit the plus, again, and go to custom blur. So this time it added the blur right here. I can move it, I'll move it on top of my face. I can change uh, the size of it by grabbing the handles and adjusting it. Now you can change the shape over here too. So I can go to oval and so it fits a face better and adjust it this way. Or I can go ahead, uh, the other thing, I can fix it to a position so it won't move or it can track the object. So if the person or thing is moving, it will track with it uh, so that it stays blurred on it. So that's how you can add it. So if I go ahead and I'm gonna jump ahead to a different part here and I, if I add a blur right here, so custom, and I'm just gonna put a blur on this dog's eye here and I'm just gonna turn it to oval just like this 
And I'll leave it, even though I know it doesn't move, I'll just leave it on track object and it's playing for about, I don't want it to play this long. So if you go check it out after you can uh, find out, you know, it'll just play for about five seconds here. So right now it's playing for about 17 seconds. I'll just adjust it a bit more. So it's only gonna play for 10 seconds in the video from 205 Move to it. 215 and there'll be a blur. So then I can go ahead and hit save and that will get processed into it. Remember, it does take time to get things processed can take a couple hours while people are watching it uh, they're not going to see a difference until it's finished but it can they can still keep on watching it um, after you hit save and remember to if you want to you can revert to original let's mo move on to the music now the YouTube video editor allows us to add multiple tracks of music or audio from their libra library to this video or to the video you're working on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead to the add a track here. So I'll click on it and you can see we have our free music. Uh, you can go through and this would be the starred one. I don't have any here. And we also have an audio library and the audio, li audio library will open up another uh, window and it will go through and just if you want to add any of these uh, to it you can go ahead uh, as I go to uh, any of these you can see you can download it here now I'm just gonna go back here and just quickly add one from the free music just so you can see how it's done if I just click this one I can pick add and it goes right into it uh, it's just doing a slight processing here as it adds the music to this uh, and at any point so if I go ahead and play this now Notice the music takes everything over. So the first thing I just wanted to point out was if I uh, click on the adjust mix level, you can change how loud it is. So if I bring it down like that, it will go through and just process it again. And when it's complete, I'll hit the play again. Tech, hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how- And now you can uh, hear that, you can hear the music and the voice at the same time. Uh, you can trim these. So from either end, uh, you can grab and trim like this if you need to shorten it. So if there's only a little clip uh, and you can also move it around uh, where you want it to play. So you can see it just keeps on adjusting. So to give the preview to it, you can add multiple tracks of uh, audio to this. So if I go to this one and I bit, uh, we'll go to here and hit add, it creates another track and I can have the two different ones playing and you can adjust the mix level here uh, to depending which one you want to be have dominant. Now you can see there's more uh, license info here where we can re or remove just like this. So you go through and look at the different ones from the free music that you can add. And again, when you're done, go ahead, hit save, uh, and then it will go through that processing. And uh, when it's done, it will uh, move to your live video. I just want to add before I go here today that if you go ahead and make the trims and save it, I uh, notice that you can't add your blurs after that. So I've made my trims on this. And then when I go to have uh, blur it, it says the video can't be blurred because it was previously trimmed. So that's just to let you know in what order uh, that what's more important if you need to blur it first. Now, the other thing, you can still go back and add your music to it after, or even if you want to trim it, you still have that available to you after it's it's just the blur. So I hope you like this video. Hopefully it helps you out. Maybe you have that video that you need to trim that little bit out of, or maybe that uh, little thing you have to hide with the blurring tool that makes it easy to uh, take out without losing your views. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. Let me know if this helped you out down in the comments. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.